Hello, hello, hello. Hi, great tools. How are you doing? I hope that you're doing great. I am very, very okay. Don't forget to wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay safe. So, uh, in our previous topic, we talked about water, and we say that water is colorless, tasteless, and it doesn't have a smell. It is colorless. It means that it has no color. It has no taste and it has no smell and there are three forms of water ice water and steam ice water and steam ice is hard ice is hard and steam doesn't have a shape steam doesn't have a shape and it takes the shape of the container so we are going to do a different unit in our unit six. We are going to talk about in the ground. Are you ready? Welcome. So in the ground, what can you find in the ground? In the ground, this is a ground. What can you find in the ground? So in this topic, we are going to find out how are rocks different? How are rocks different? What things are made of rocks? What things are made of rocks? Why is soil important? Why is soil important? So what are different rocks? Like how are rocks different? Now when you look at this picture, we have Dr. Atom and also we have Zoe here. Now, which rocks are big, which ones are small? So we have big rocks and small rocks. This is statue, statue, roof, roof, bench, bench, you sit on a bench, necklace, necklace, earrings, earrings are these ones, you wear them on your ears necklace you put it on your neck so some necklaces are made out of rocks okay so which ones are big the statue is big right the bench uh, is not that big that so some rocks are different colors some rocks have different colors and what things are made of rocks we have necklaces we have earrings so these are some of the things that are made out of rocks they are made out of rocks now in your textbook page 74 rocks are different rocks are different so rocks come in different sizes they come in different sizes and also they come in different shapes so they have different sizes it's, it means that some are big and some are small and they also have different shapes they also have different shapes some are irregular it means that they don't have shape so some are big some rocks are big like that one and some are small some rocks are small so they have different sizes and different shapes rocks have different colors and patterns okay you can find green rock red rock black rock right so we have different types of rocks they have different colors even the brown rocks yeah and they also have different patterns so this is what we call the pattern 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 you see this is rough and rugged okay so rocks have different colors it means they have different colors like they have they are red rocks green blue and also they have different patterns rocks have different colors and different patterns now rocks have different texture too when you touch it remember when you talk about texture it's the this the surface how is it is it smooth smooth or is it rough okay so some are rough like these ones here are rough they are not smooth but some are smooth so these are smooth rocks rough rocks smooth rocks rough rocks smooth rocks rough rough okay smooth smooth these are smooth and these are rough so they have different textures 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 
some rocks are harder than others so there's a pyramid the limestone is a hard rock it was used to build the great pyramid of gaza so the the pyramid was made out of hard rock called the limestone it is hard hard h-a-r-d hard rock remember we say that rocks have different sizes they have different shapes some are big some are small they also have different colors they have different textures some are smooth and some are rough they also have uh, hard rocks okay hard rocks so rocks are also found everywhere in your page 76 you can find rocks in the ground you can find them in oceans you can find them on the mountains and also you can find them in caves so rocks are found everywhere you can find the rocks everywhere in the mountain in oceans mountains and caves these are different places you can find the rocks now what do we use the rocks for what do we use it for so some people use the rocks to make the statues so rocks are used for making statues rocks are used for making statues so these are different statues you see these are different statues we call them statues so that is a one function of a rock for making statues and they can also be used for making roads so rocks are used for making roads and bridges so this is a road they use the rock to make the road and this is a bridge rocks are also used for making the bridge okay and also for making the road so even roads are made from rocks even roads are made from rocks rocks are used for building so you can use a rock to make a house or a very big monument okay so rocks can be used for making houses or big places so we can build houses with rocks we can build houses with rocks they can also be used for making roads statues and uh, bridges and also houses okay rocks are used for making jewelries jewelries are those things you wear on your ears your neck and your wrist so we call them jewelries even the ring okay you can make them out of rocks so rocks are used for making jewelries rocks are used for making jewelries the lid in your pencil is made from a special rock called the graphite this one here the pencil is made out of rock okay so the black thing this one that you use for writing is uh, made from a rock called graphite okay the graphite so rocks have different uses one for making roads for making bridges for making jewelries for making statues yeah and also some people use rocks to make places look beautiful so they beautify places with rocks now in your activity book page 26 and 27 different rocks so which things are made of rock shade the letter so i need you to find out what is made from rock now you can use any color that you want you can use any color so we have the d this one here is a wall is it made out of rocks yes so you can take any color and then you color it okay you color this one here is made out of rock what about this one here is it made out of rock no uh a this is a statue is it made out of rock yes okay uh the well is it made out of rock yes um the balloon is it made out of rock no uh this one here on the table what where he is placed his paper is it a rock yes so that one you color the bench this one is it made out of rock no it's made out of wood and the earring here is it made out of rock yes so you color this and that and these and these and that okay so those are the things that are made out of rocks and then part b which letters did you shade form a word with those letters then write the words in the blank so dash are also made of rocks what are also made of rocks so what letter was this let's see 
let's see what letter that was um, that was letter D letter D and uh, this one here and so we have the word R so this one is R R O A D and S this one here so roads are also made of rocks roads are also made of rocks now look at the picture again which rocks are big or small group them so small rocks small rocks we have this one is R is a small rock R is small uh, S is also small uh, which other one is small okay so R and S then we have a uh, this letter D is big rock, uh, O is also big rock, O, and also A is also big. Okay, so those are big rocks, these are small rocks. Now, fill in the blank. So this one I need you to do it by yourself, okay? You use these words here to fill in the blank. So uh, rocks come in different shapes, si uh, sizes, shapes and colors patterns and textures okay one more time rocks come in different sizes sizes here shapes colors pattern and textures rocks have many uses rocks have many uses this one here so make sure that you key in the correct answer now what do plants need to grow? What do plants need to grow? Page 78, 79. Remember, we say that plants are living things and they need water, they need air, they also need the sun to make food, they also need the soil. So plants need water, soil, air, and sun. They need water, soil, air, and sun. They need the sun to make food. They need the soil to get the nutrients and the water. So the leaves help the plants to make food during the process we call photosynthesis. So they use the sun to make food. Okay, and the roots here they absorb the water into the plants. They absorb, absorb. <laughs> they absorb the water and then uh, the plant here uh, can use the water to make food so we have the process we call photosynthesis now this is when um, plant use carbon dioxide which is co2 plus h2o which is the water in the presence of sunlight to make food so what do they produce they will produce the sugar which is the glucose in plant the sugar it's not writing wait okay sugar and oxygen O2 okay so this is the process we call photosynthesis plants use carbon dioxide that we breathe out uh, plus water they absorb uh, with the roots here and then uh, in the presence of sunlight to produce sugar which is the food that uh, plants use for growing and the oxygen that we breathe in so the leaves have the plants to make food roots are in the soil so what do they do they absorb they absorb the water to be used by the plant soil is important okay soil this is what we call the soil it is important so page 80 81 let's see how soil is important how is soil so plants grow in the soil and some animals live in the soil too you see the plants grow okay in the soil these are the roots and this is the stem they get the water from the soil they get also the nutrients from the soil and some animals also live in the soil so soil is very very important it's very important now plants get water from the soil like i said before when you grow a plant it will absorb the water okay with the roots so they get the water 
from the soil plants get the water they need from soil with their roots so the roots absorb the water plants get water from the soil so soil hold the roots of the plant helps it to stay in place the soil hold the roots of the plant so even if it's windy you know the strong wind it means that uh, the the plant cannot fall okay because the soil is holding it in place so the soil hold the plant in in place okay they hold it in place so that they don't fall or they don't uh, move so if you grow a plant in sand and in a good soil this one here you look at this one here it looks fresh and healthy but this one doesn't look healthy okay it doesn't look healthy in sandy soil you can only grow some other plants like coconut tree and stuff but um, you cannot grow all the plants even the cactus can grow in sand but uh, these are the ones they grow in a good soil so the one in good soil is healthy the one in sand is not healthy is not healthy so in your activity book you are told uh, to have to make an experiment okay so you you have soil and sand and then you have to put some seeds and then pour some water then you wait for some few days so for my experiment this is what I came up with okay after three days after six days and then after nine days but this is in soil but in sand, it's not very, very good. It's not healthy. The plants are not healthy. So you can try this at home. If you have uh, soil and sand, you can plant a seed. You can get the green beans or the beans, and then you put it in the soil. And then you wait after three to ten days and see what will happen. Now, fill in the blanks. Soil is important. Yeah, plants get what? They get water from it. Soil also hold the roots of plants. Remember, plants get water from the soil and the soil holds the roots of the plants. So key in the correct answer. In your uh, textbook, page 83, I'd like you to do the self-check. The dash is made up of rocks and soil. What is made up of rocks and soil? This one here the ground okay and then dash comes in different uh, sizes shapes colors patterns textures and hardness what comes in that it's the rocks how many um, no no many different dash are made of dash many different things are made from rocks and then soil is important to plants plants get dash they get water okay from the soil they get the water from the soil so um, thank you so much for staying tuned I hope that I will see you uh, very very soon don't forget to do your homework you can try the experiment get some soil and some sand and plant um, some seeds and see how it will be in maybe 10 days so thank you so much and also there's going to be a pretest now the pretest is in your Google form so try and do it it's not difficult it's only 10 questions you can do it and then you send it to me so uh take good care of yourself and see you again very soon bye